Hi, this is a Cubase quick tip video on how to use key modifiers uh, with different tools. So what I mean by that is if you go into the edit menu, preferences, editing tool modifiers here, you'll have a list of categories with different modifiers like control, alt, shift, um, alt, shift, control, shift, etc. Um, these modifiers affect many different tools. Um, I'll just go and show you with the select tool. So the select tool is the tool that you select by clicking one. Um, so basically you can select what this tool moves stuff around, but if you hold alt, it becomes a scissor. So you can cut up audio. If I hold control and alt, I can do some slip editing. Um, if I hold Alt and Shift, I can click anywhere on an event or an empty space and it will locate my cursor. This is very useful and I don't see many people using it. Instead of having to go up here in the ruler, moving the cursor, you can just click in anywhere on empty space and um, yeah, your cursor moves. Um, there's also... Um, if you hold Alt in empty space on a track, this will create um, events, empty events. Um, and if you're on a MIDI track, I'll create an empty event, go into the editor, create a few notes. If you select these notes and hold Control and Shift, You can modify the velocity of one note if one is selected or all the notes if they're all selected. So this is what I mean by key modifiers and there's many modifiers in Cubase and you'll find them in the preferences here um, to explore. That's the quick tip.